as we move on to the sixth on the program and uh, race number six on Monday is a class four up to the 1800 meters here for the fourth headed by Smart Patch who tries class four for the first time Ho Ho Phil drops in class as well he's come up with barrier 12 Smart Baby a two-time distance winner at Happy Valley Sangre has come up with barrier 13 but normally drops in anyway Clement Legend four-time winner this season but uh, all of those at 2,000 or 2,200 metres. Circuit 3, runner-up behind Champion Supreme last time out. Full of chances with a headgear change. Visor goes on for the first time. And Savvy 7, runner-up over the 1650 last time out from at Happy Valley. He's a chance of rolling forward. He's one of the horses that have been up at Chung Far as well. Ho Ho Phil, Clement Legend, Circuit 3, Le Panache. Join him there. 2, 8, 10, 13 and 14. Again, not a great deal of natural speed here, Brett. No, again, this is like race one. Um, there's not a real noted front runner in the race. There's a lot of get back horses and there's a long run down that back stretch. So it looks slow, but you'll get some, no doubt, some connections and trainers and jockeys getting together and deciding that they're gonna roll forward and be closer. Very unpredictable. He's one of them, I think, could be Clement Legend. He's the one at the back there, just with a little general, who is racing earlier in the cart. Uh, but Clement Legend there at the back, Karis Teat in the board, He's another one that's led in the past. He's a possible leader, as is Flash Famous, who's, um, who's got uh, a, a, a low draw. He, he might go forward as well. His circuit three, though, uh, he's been finishing off his races really nicely. His track work's really good. He's only had the four starts, and he's not good in all of them. He's a very fit horse now. A son of Savile Bill, so 1,800 looks ideal for him. And Savvy Seven, he's been a little bit disappointed in this horse. He's 11-start maiden. He's had a couple of placings in Class 5. They, they have been. He's yeah. here at the bottom of Class 4. All right, OK, we'll have a look at Savvy 7 in a moment. We'll start off, though, with Clement Legend, who very, very impressive moving through the grades up from Class 5. He's a winner in Class 4, but I mentioned before, they've all been over further. He's in the running for the most improved horse this season, I would have thought, winning four out of eight and having a couple of minors and a fourth. Um, he's obviously found it a little bit tougher at his last two against the Class 4 gallopers, but who's to put it past him to not run well again? I think he'll be somewhere in the money for sure. Yeah, he's look, he's, um, as you say, he's been, had a good season to date. Oh, it would be interesting to see what tactics they do with him because he was he did lead last time, didn't he? He was up on the pace. Mm, or so, sat in and, yeah, and come with came a move. around. So mm. He has had that move in a few times. So he, I think there'll be a bit more pace in this race than the slow that we saw, and he's one of them. Mm. All right, OK. Circuit 3, runner-up last time out with London Hall, Flash Famous and... Full of chances uh, further back, um, Circuit 3. Just the four starts um, seems to be improving. Yeah, I like this horse. I think he's got these three covered, although I think Flash Famous is going nicely enough as well um, in this particular one and London Hall. So I think this is not a bad form race to come out of. I've got most of these horses in my numbers, in fact, and you can see him hitting the line strongly. Uh, he, will, he will want Clement Legend to make that extra pace or one of these other horses, but I thought it was a good run from him. Yeah, I'm with him too. I mean, I haven't really been this, uh, one of his fans, but the winner there had an absolutely gifted run on the yep. rail and he came the long way home and there was a big gap between him and third. So I think if you swap the winner's run with him in that race, he would have won. And I think he's probably better than these. All right, OK. One more to have a look at, and that's uh, Savvy 7. We're at uh, Happy Valley for this. His last start effort, the 1650 behind Chaparral Star. Yeah, Paul's made a, a reasonable case in the track work comments saying... You know, he's up and down, he's been knocking on the door, there's been a lot of gear changes, crossover nose band, it came off, blinkers went on, now it's blinkers and tongue tie. He's getting there, he's getting there, lightweight, good barrier. Probably needs to be included, I would have thought. Yeah, maybe, I'm, I'm going to wait till he gets to class five. Mm. I'll wait till he gets back down there. All right, he's only got uh, five for eight points yeah. before he gets there. Circuit three, though, Paul, is our favourite. Yeah, I like him, I think this, this can be his race. He's only had the four starts, he's improving all the time, and I do like the horse. Um, London Hall, his last two starts have been very good. Uh, now he's got up to these longer distances. He ran a really nice fourth behind I Do, and then backed it up with a nice third behind Champion Supreme. I think he's a Quinella horse. Flash Famous has had not much luck in the running in his last few starts. He should get a nice run from barrier number four. And I'm going to put Sangria in. He's one off a rating of 56. He's now rated 58. He's been placed at a lot higher rating as well. He's, he'll get back. He'll want a bit of pace and run on 10, 11, 7 and 6. I like the 10. Yeah, I'm thinking he might be the banker type here for the last leg of the TT. Um, and Berto Rispel is in fine form at the moment, not making too many errors at all. He takes the ride on this horse for the first time. Karras, I presume, sticking with Clement Legend. I've got those two to run the queue, but I'm confident the 10 will finish in the first three on his recent efforts. Flash famous, I've been a fan for uh, some time. don't think he's quite going as well as he was when he won last season, but he's in the... Um, 
Miners and London Hall, but I'm going to bank of the 10 and work around that. Yeah, tricky one. Uh, 10 certainly in for me as well. But I thought Faithful Trinity at uh, 23 at this stage was a, a solid each way price. Should get a decent run from Barrier 2 as well. Richard Gibson and Matthew Chadwick, who generally team up well. That is uh, race number six on the programme on the turf there. All right, so another short break for us. Back with the seventh. We're back on the dirt for race number seven. Good one as well. Class two over the 1,200.